getting drunk. Back again with yet another attempt of a beer review. The one I got reviewed just now is a revisit for me, and it's one of the Dutch beers, and it's the Grolsch. 5% Erector Scale, the traditional bottle. Now this is a beer I have grew up drinking as a teen. I have a soft spot for it in my heart. I think I've reviewed it in the cans. Can't remember if I've ever reviewed it in the bottle, but I saw the bottles. I'm actually moved into the home brewing world, believe it or not. Yes, uh, bad enough uh, buying beers, but I moved into home brewing and uh, I'm doing some ciders. And uh, basically these bottles are really superb for your home brew. So I've been buying the odd bottle of Grolsch here and there uh, for my ciders. So anyway, Heineken glass, it's Dutch in it. Anyone watching this from Heineken and Grolsch are probably tutting already at the start of this video, but the likelihood of that is no they're not. So here we have the Grolsch in a glass. I love this Heineken glass. Uh, I got these, these are uh, these were sponsors of the I think it was the 2012 Olympics and you know something, they're, they're such a tidy wee glass uh, I got a couple of them and uh, they are pride they're, they're pride of my glass collection I quite like them, if you, if you get a lager they a lager just seems to look really superb in them. So anyway, moving on away from the glass, back to the beer. We've got the Grolsch, as you can see. The beer does sit very, very nicely in the glass. A little bit of uh, carbonation going up there. The glass is a bit wet, so I'm not getting the proper carbonation that I know this glass can do, but hopefully you can see something. So go in for the nose and see what it's all about. Right away, we're getting that lovely Dutch lager smell. Anyone knows what's a Dutch lager smell you probably think oh he's, uh, you've drank a Heineken before. I always find Grolsch and Heineken they get that same sort of aroma. Lovely snap of corn, sweet corn smell, cereal grain, grainy, grassy, we know what we're going in for. So anyway, Sofa King drunk drinking a Grolsch 5% of Richter scale. Slangeva. Well, that is good. That is really good. Nice sort of biscuity snap. Lovely cereal grain. Everything I'm explaining, the little grassiness, it's got that sort of, I think, Dutch taste about it. If anyone's never drank a Dutch beer before, or anyone that has drunk, like your Heineken's, your Grolsch, you'll know what I'm talking about. They seem to have a little distinctive uh, taste uh, on their own. You get every country when it makes the, the lagers, they've got their distinctive taste. You can pick one of these beers up. I, I could pick a Grolsch or a Heineken up against other beers uh, from different parts of Europe. There'll be people sitting out there maybe watching this video saying just now, you're talking shit, and well, maybe I am, but I know for a fact I know my taste buds, and I know I'm not. It's refreshing, it's Moorish, it's a great beer, it comes in a fantastic package. Look at that 500 mils, comes in a fantastic package. I love the embossment. In the on the bottle, great beer. Uh, as I said, I've been buying the bottles uh, for home brew. It's it's lovely stuff. I'm glad I've revisited it because uh, it's been a long, long time since uh, I last had a Grosch. Is it one I'm going to drink again? Yes, it is. For the simple reason, it's one I've kind of forgotten about. And they're a little bit pricey. I've got to admit, if you want to go for the traditional uh, bottle. I picked these up just now in uh, Asda's in uh, Glasgow and they're 150 a pop for the bottles. But 150 a pop to me is, well the beer, suppose it is pretty expensive for someone's pocket but for me the bottles will get other uses. Uh, as I said I'm making my homebrew cider so these bottles are fantastic for homebrew. Uh, 
it's, it's one I will drink again, pick up the odd bottle here and there. So anyway, what am I going to give the Grosch? Uh, 5% on the Richter scale. I'm going to give that a Sophie King Drunk rating of... Uh, I'm going to give that a revisit 8.5 out of 10. I can't remember what I gave it the first time round, but just now it's ticking boxes for me and it's an 8.5 eight out of 10 beer. So anyway, if you've had Grosch before, you liked it, you didn't like it, you've not liked it and you've seen it at supermarkets, you get it in cans as well and you get it in bottles uh, that you... You have to use a bottle opener and you also get it in the flip top bottles. If you've never tried it before, I recommend you go for the gimmick and try it in the flip top bottle. It's a little bit special, that's the way it's meant to be. Uh, but obviously at Ever Beers they've got different different styles of it for every budget. So anyway, if you like it or you didn't like it, I'll drop a line below and if not, hopefully I'll catch you in another uh, lager review. And uh, Slangy Var, keep drinking the good beer. Ciao for now.